hello friends welcome back to my channel this video is the continuation of the solution for GPSTR exam 2022 of maths and science subjects already we have solved up to few certain number of questions so you can check the description box for the previous solution and we shall continue that in this video so before that I would like to thank all my subscribers for your kind support and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to TET exams, CET and Central TET also. Okay, fine. We shall move to the solutions now. We will analyze the paper. We are not only explaining here only the answers we will check the other answers also why it is so we will analyze the paper okay that will be helpful for the further exams the graph of the equation 6x minus 2y plus 9 is equal to 0 and 3x minus y plus 12 is equal to 0 are two lines which are and options are given whether they are coincident parallel intersecting exactly at one point perpendicular to each other so these three answers we know it comes under one category like we can check out with the values of um, a b c or a1 b1 c1 and exactly i will be explaining in case of perpendicular either we find the slope of the lines or we multiply these numerals x y and the number and then if you get the answer as zero and perpendicular to each other okay so let's check it out with that we have to consider the equations like this uh, with the variable of x we have a number so that we have take as a1 that is 6 a1 is 6 with y second variable the number is minus 2 that is b1 then the numeral which is given at last is c1 for second equation you consider as a2 b2 and c2 respectively then find out the value of a1 by a2 a1 by a2 is 6 by 3 which gives us 2 then b1 by b2 minus 2 by minus 1 which gives us 2 c1 by c2 9 by 12 which is 3 by 4 we know the condition for lines to be coincident parallel and intersecting exactly at one point that if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 if all these are equal then the lines will be coincident we can say that coincidence means the first line is like this second line is also upon that coincident lines like this if this is x axis and for y axis this is a coincident line but you check the answers which is not coincident so that is not the answer second case of parallel a1 by a2 will be equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2 so which suits our answer so this this is the answer how the graph will be if they are parallel like this the parallel lines okay first line and second line they are parallel to each other if they are intersecting at one point your value of a1 by a2 will not be equal to b1 by b2 so this is not the answer because these are equal and how the graph will be if it is for intersecting they will intersect like this at one point if it if li these lines are perpendicular to each other we check the values of this 6 3 is 18 plus we add up with the y values minus 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus plus 2 ones are 2 plus 9 12s are we multiply that value and that is uh, 108 adding up that if you get the answer as 0 that then the lines are perpendicular to each other so no way that we will get the answer as 0 hence this is not the answer so the answer is parallel these lines are parallel to each other fine next the value of 3 to the power of x minus 3 into 5 to the power of x minus 4 is equal to 45 is we have to find the answer so um, if this bases are different then we cannot simplify the exponents or the power so we have to make the basis either same or the right hand side the equating number should be have the same base Hence, for 45, we take the LCM or we find the factors of 45. You know how to find this. And 45, 3 is a, in, uh, 3 15s are, then 3 5s are, 5 1s are. So, you can write 3 to the power of 2 twice and 5 to the power of 1. 45 can be written like this. 
compare this right hand side and left hand side here we have three base some three is the base here also three is the base let it be the par different par no problem again we have base here five five on either side hence the bases are same we can equate the exponents of the par therefore x minus three is equal to two or x minus four is equal to one solve for x now so take this minus 3 on the right hand side it becomes plus 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 and the other side take this minus 4 to the right hand side becomes plus 4 1 plus 4 is 5 hence x value is 5 ok this kind of answers you don't need to check for all this is all just simplification that's it fine and moving to the next question the product of cube root of 4 and fifth root of 2 is so if it is given in terms of thirds we have if it is the roots are same we could have multiplied but roots are different hence you take the power of it um, 4 cube root of 4 can be written as 4 to the power of 1 by 3 so whatever is in the root here we have to write in the denominator to the power here and fifth root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 1 by 5 then um, if the bases are same so we can solve the exponents part so is there any ways to make the base same yes this 4 can be written as 2 square you see 2 square is nothing but 4 so remaining thing as it is you write here and this you can simplify 2 into 1 by 3 so 2 ones are 2 divided by 3 gives so 2 by 3 2 to the power of 2 by 3 2 to the power of 1 by 5 now the bases are same hence we can add the par which we learn in the basic classes actually so um, we just recall that if the bases are same so in the product form if it is in multiplication form we can add the exponents so 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 so on taking the LCM of 3 and 5 gives us 15 3 5s are 15 so 5 2s are 10 and 5 3s are 15 and we have uh, um, here, then multiply with this 3 ones are 3 which gives us 10 plus 3 is 13 by 15 is the answer on solving this 2 so 2 is the base you write the base and after solving this you write 13 by 15 now again how to write this back in the uh, root form this which is in the denominator come to come to the cube uh, the, sorry uh, the root of that okay 15th root of 2 to the power of 13 so if it is 2 to the power of 13 it's a huge number right how to multiply this and to find there is an easy method to find out that so according to that method uh, we check for the unit digit number of the base okay so base is having unit digit number as 2 and we have um, a method called uh, cyclicity method okay that I'll be explaining now so on solving this we get the answer as 2 okay I'll just solve and show you that now so according to this cyclicity method to find the unit digit if it is for the huge number having power whenever you find a number which is in the unit digit is 0 the answers after finding all the product multiply multiply 100 times also the answer also will be 0 if it is for 1 1 if it is for 5 5 if if the number is of 6 in the unit digit 6 will be the answer rest of the number for example if you have 2 to the power 13 we have here so how to find for this number I'll explain for one number remaining numbers will you can check it out using this table okay so if it is in the unit digit if it was 0 you could have written taken the answer in the unit digit as 0 and you could have find the answer but here we don't have 2 we have 2 here in this uh, table form okay so 2 have 4 cyclicity we have what do you mean by that 2 1s are 2 okay again 2 2s are multiply this again 2 2s are 4 2 2s are 4 again 4 2s are 8 after that 8 2s are 16 for 16 we have double digit only unit digit we have to write one 6 is the number here again uh, 6 2s are how much it is 12 right so 2 again 2 comes here so this will be repeating so whatever number you take and multiply further you will get the answer as 2 4 8 6 in the unit digit so it will have 4 cyclicity like this okay 
I am explaining only for this now. Later you can check it out for the, all the remaining numbers. In a short form, I will just explain of this also. This is very easy method only to find the number in the unit digit. Now we have considered 2 to the power of 13, right? So what is the number in the unit digit is 2. So for 2, if the unit digit is 2, here we have 4 cyclicity. So we cannot directly get the answer. Hence we have to divide the power by 4. Divide this power by 4, 3, 4 is a 12. So what is the remainder? Remainder is 1. If the remainder is 1, 2 is the answer. Unit digit will be 2. Hence, what was our answer the previous one? You have to check from the answer. If that number has in the unit digit 2, that will be the answer for that. Okay. This represents um, R1, remainder 1, remainder 2, remainder 3 and remainder, if it is for remainder 0, we have to follow this. If it is having two cyclicity only, we have to go for this number, whether it is of odd or whether it is of even. If it is of odd, this will be the answer. For even, this will be the answer. Still, if you want me to explain the cyclicity method of finding the digit in the unit digits place, you can just uh, comment in the comment box. We will solve more problems based on this. Okay. So, according to our problem, we got the answer as 2. So, the answer must have 2 in the unit place. Let us check that. So now we got 2 in the unit places for this answer. Okay. For 2 to the power of 13 hence our answer is 8192 here. Okay. We shall move to the next one. The polynomial x cube plus ax plus b has the factors x plus 2 and x minus 3. Then the values of a and b are respectively equal to dash. So if you find like this some polynomial with some factors of x terms okay let us equate this as 0 imagine and hence we can get the value of a and b from this hence this is the method to solve actually you see uh, in order to solve this multiple choice questions we have to solve a lot in mathematics so we have to move fast not like other subjects we just recall the answer and write in order to get the answer at least we have to spend um, one to two minutes for a sum if you are thorough with that okay we have to be um, fast while solving so in order to explain you I have written all this in detail you don't need to write everything in detail you can ex skip some steps if you know direct answers fine so here x plus 2 is equal to 0 if you equate so x is equal to minus 2 in this x minus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to 3 hence consider this equation substitute the values of x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 3 respectively you will get two equations so these two equations if it is having two unknown terms e and b and a and b we have to solve using simultaneous equation formula okay simultaneous equation how to solve this this subtract either add or subtract the equations so usually we subtract the equation in order to simplify it so while subtracting we have to change the sign of the second equation so minus 27 plus 27 becomes minus 27 plus 3a become minus 3a plus b become minus b so plus b minus b get cancelled minus 27 minus 8 so we have to add them up and put the same sign if it is having same sign about this and all we have already discussed the basics okay biology students kindly check the for those videos of basic mathematics number system value it is given in the description box the link of that video please check it out and minus 2a minus 3 means minus 5a is equal to 0 now we want the value of a keep this minus 5a here shift this minus 35 other side becomes plus 35 and a is equal to take this minus 5 to the denominator so here on solving this you will get the answer as minus 7 we got the value of a actually by looking at this a value as minus 7 only nowhere we have minus 7 we could have chosen this answer but let us also check for this other second value also either any equation you can take either equation 1 or equation 2 put the value of a here substitute the value of a you will get the value of b here that is we got as I have chosen equation number 2 so b is equal to minus 6 hence this is the right answer you can check for uh, equation number 1 also you will get the same answer if you get type s in the comment box fine easy sums but we have to go fast this comes by practice only fine 
okay on moving to the 37th question the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus 2 is equal to 0 has equal roots then the value of b is and uh, we know the formula of, of delta to find the uh, roots away if it is real roots or if it is equal roots we know delta is equal to 0 that is delta value is b square minus 4ac so this com comes under quadratic equation chapter um, in the following classes I will take a separate class only for the quadratic equations okay, to solve that. So delta is equal to b square minus 4ac if for equal roots delta is equal to 0. Hence we can equate this equation delta is equal to b square minus the values of a and b we have to check it out from this equation. For x square we have 1 x square so that is the value of a 1. For bx for the x value whatever the value is given the numeral that is b value next is c value c value is 2 ok so a is 1 here b value is b only c value is 2 with the sign we have to write this values then substitute here b is b only so b square delta value is 0 for equal roots they have given that in the question itself and minus 4 a value is 1 into c values so 4 2s are 8 remaining comes as it is then since this is equal to 0 shift the 8 to the other side minus 8 becomes plus 8 hence we get the equation b square is equal to 8 so b is equal to square root of 8 square root of 8 can be written as um, 4 2s are 8 right then you take this square root of 4 value is 2 so 2 root 2 will be the answer for this plus or minus actually whenever we take the square root value we have to write plus or minus here so plus or minus 2 root 2 is the right answer for this moving to the next one the distance between ortho center and circum center in an isosceles right angle triangle side 5 root 2 centimeter is so here they have mentioned about ortho center circum center and right angle triangle so let us imagine this right angle triangle like this at point A it forms a right angle so A, B, C consider and they have to, uh, mentioned that it is an isosceles triangle so these two sides are equal and whereas a C, B is a slope ok and imagine the point at A is at origin on the axis X and Y so at origin the points will be 0, 0 X and Y value on B if you take on X axis Y value is 0 so you can take as 5 root 2 comma 0 at point C 0 comma 5 root 2 ok then all these points have taken accordingly and we can also consider A is 0 comma 0 at point B A comma 0 and at C 0 comma B in order to substitute for the formula and at point A it is OC ortho center and at point this point mid midpoint of B and C there we will get the circumcenter ok on this point hence the distance between the ortho center and circumcenter is equal to half of square root of A square plus B square and substitute the values of A and B here A value is 5 root 2 whole square plus B value is also 5 root 2 whole square so how to solve this this will be 5 square and root 2 whole square so 5 square means 5 pi is a 25 into root 2 root 2 get, get cancelled so 25 into 2 plus 25 into 2 so that is 50 plus 50 is 100 half of square root of 100 square root of 100 value is 10 so 2 ones are 2 fives are hence 5 is the answer so 5 centimeter is the answer actually there are a lot of some um, in different methods they calculate the distance between ortho center and circum center so this is the easy method where we can calculate in case of a right angle triangle if it is given ok ok fine we will continue the solution in the next video keep practicing thank you for your support thank you for watching